What's up, Yugo fans? My name's Alex, also known as Inch95, and I'm here to give you guys a card review today. I want to do this card review as soon as possible because I didn't do one last week when I got this card or the last couple days. I recently just did a card review and really small discussion on Pot of Desires, and if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. I definitely need to get some more numbers dialed in for this card to give you guys some more solid numbers, but uh, as far as that goes, go check out my discussion on that if you guys want to see my opinion on if you should or shouldn't be running Pot of Desires. Uh, but yeah, anyway, in today's card review, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Cosmic Cyclone. I know it's a card that's been uh, sort of on some people's radar. Uh, not necessarily everyone's. It's a secret rare from the, the Dark Illusion set. It's literally just a quick play MST that says you pay a thousand life points. Obviously, that's the cost. And then you target a spell or trap on the field and you banish it. So it's basically the same thing as MST, except, you know, you pay a thousand life points as a cost and then you banish whatever you're hitting. And I want to talk about this card a little bit because it's a secret rare, and right now I think it's hovering between like 10 and 15 bucks, give or take. And some people are asking me, do I think this card is going to skyrocket? I think this card definitely has the potential to go up, um, especially if it, if it doesn't get reprinted in the near future, um, you know, in the next like five, six, seven months. Uh, but the reality is I think this card won't necessarily see a lot of play unless we get another Pendulum deck where there's certain cards in there that you just need to get rid of that they you want them to exist um, both... Uh, not in the pendulum scale as well as not in the extra deck and I think that's where this card really shines We haven't really had too many decks in can you know in modern Yu-Gi-Oh outside of something like hat like artifacts and whatnot Where you would really benefit from banishing like a spell or trap or you know against monarchs Obviously banishing something like prime would be okay, but in most cases you're probably not citing something like this against them anyway uh, Maybe I guess theoretically against like domain monarchs if you're playing against domain monarchs and you're trying to hit you know use this to hit domain but you could also use it to banish prime you know the little things like that but um as far as cosmic cyclone i think this card is actually pretty cool i don't think it's as uh you know it's going to be something where it's going to be insanely broken but i definitely if if you're asking my opinion i would definitely say try and pick up maybe like a play set of these on the off chance it goes up you're probably not losing much i mean i would say 30 if you're investing 30 dollars or you know 30 you know 35 bucks in trade or something along those lines into a card like this and it ever goes up, you're probably going to be gaining a lot or a good amount. I mean, even if it goes up by like 10 bucks, you know, you're still gaining, you know, you're, you're doubling your money in most cases. Um, I only have one. I pulled this out of my Dark Illusions packs uh, for judging regionals, just like Pot of Desires, which is pretty cool. I'll probably pick up two of these uh, just to have them. I mean, especially if I ever consider coming back into competitive view, because I think this card is really cool. The thing is, like... In modern Yu-Gi-Oh, because there aren't as many traps that are relevant, and like even if there are relevant traps, like if you think about it, you never really care about banishing, you know, something like a Psalm Strike or a Vanity's Emptiness or something like that. In most cases, the backers that people hit are typically things like Floodgates, and most of the times things like MST can do that. So, I mean, now in Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously every deck can put out a ton of damage, so a thousand life points may not be a huge cost. In some cases, it can be relevant. But if you think about it, in most cases, it'll probably be like Upstart Goblin, where, you know, giving your opponent a thousand life points isn't that big of a deal. Um, and you're just getting deeper into your deck where something like this if you're playing against a You know some kind of crazy pendulum deck or some kind of deck where the spells and traps are a resource Like in the graveyard if you think about that new paleozoic all the new paleozoic stuff that came out all the traps If they go, you know, if you don't banish them they go to the grave um, They have effects in the graveyard where they can summon themselves back and a bunch of other cool effects well, Cosmic Cyclone could potentially be good against a deck like that if it ever becomes relevant, or any Pendulum deck. Like, if you think about something like Cliff Wards back in the day when it was, you know, when Scout was still at three a couple years ago, well, you know, players could definitely benefit from banishing Scouts because otherwise players could climate change them back. You could uh, Pendulum summon them back if you cleared your stuff, you know, with your Helixes or, you know, whatever else you had to clear your scales. You could potentially overlay for Volcasaurus, you know, things like that. Um, so this card was probably would have been really good against something like that deck. And I think really this card is only going to be very good once there's another very, very crazy broken pendulum deck where you just need to hit something that needs to exist, um, that can exist both in the extra deck or in the pendulum scale and be extremely advantageous. Like for instance, if your opponent summons it back, right? But until then, I think for the most part, if you're thinking about just playing this against like any old pendulum deck, uh, really, it doesn't seem like there's, you know, there's much of a difference between playing MST and this in most cases, just because you can save yourself the thousand life points and it can probably keep you alive. But for now, I would probably pick these up. I don't think it's something that you necessarily need to worry about in the coming, you know, in the coming like weeks or anything, maybe in the coming future in the next like year of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but by then this card will probably get reprinted. So it's not really a big thing. But for now, if I were you, I would highly recommend investing in this card. It's pretty cheap. It's probably like 10, 13, 15 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah. That's really it. Let me know. Have you guys tried this card? I'd really love to get you guys' opinions. I'll probably, you know, maybe toss this card in a side deck. Um, I definitely wanted to profile Cleese for you guys because that's really the only other deck I have right now other than 
uh, garbage domain monarchs and I don't really have three pot of desires and I really wanted to do uh, a pot of desires uh, test run with Klee's like three desires three into the voids like three pot of dollars just three of everything and just make it really crazy and fast so uh, maybe if I get some more of this I'd probably like throw it in the side or something but uh, until then I think MST is definitely sufficient I don't think like you need necessarily need to be running this card uh, right now so let me know what you guys think if you guys test it out comment down below uh, your opinions on this card if you guys picked it up do you guys plan on investing in it and uh, yeah drop it down below it is a secret rare so be aware of that I would probably pick this up. I'm probably going to go order two of these as soon as possible. Uh, as for Pot of Desires, I don't know if I would want to be paying 70 bucks on this right now. I'd probably, um, it could probably go up after next YCS just a little bit, but uh, I'll probably just end up selling mine then and hopefully wait to get them back. So see you guys. Follow me on Twitter at Inch95 if you guys already know. Peace out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another awesome video.